fertilization taking place. <laughs> uh, so I've got horse manure, I've got chicken manure in here, and I've got cow manure in here. Uh, I think these, uh, this orchard's going to look good. It's Tuesday morning. <clears throat> And the birds seem to be okay. Um, right. After yesterday, I got really despondent because the broiler operation is supposed to deliver the cash flow. So besides the marketing and the rearing and the, the, the challenge with um, predators is a, is a reality here. <clears throat> but the two coops that are normally under pressure, I've uh, just uh, put some more of these refrigerated panels around it, uh, isolated panels, just to... Uh, prevent the meerkat from getting in and see that is the final solution I'm still working on it still thinking about it still still googling it but it's not like meat bird birds on pasture uh, fighting off uh, meerkats is, is a you know a popular title to some videos it's not so yeah this will be the first I think uh, to keep the meerkat, <clears throat> meerkats away. I think uh, our biggest um, biggest uh, deterrent is to put a flat layer around something heavy that the meerkat can't move. And they can't dig through or dig under, you know, something broad around there, about 12 inches, 18 inches wide. Um, that would be a, a good deterrent. The roof is a concern for me as well, especially the side here where the, there's only shade cloth that is forming the roof. The other side's got a... a, a corrugated um, roof on it so the meerkat won't go through that but the southern side where the sun comes in has only got shade cloth on so I'm going to need to do something else there so I can get sunlight in and keep meerkat out it's been an hour and a half since I've moved these birds this morning and uh, they are still picking at their food that I gave them this morning. It's time for fresh water, so I'm just going to change the water and move on to the next coop and see how they're doing. This is the coop that's taken 90% of the of their attacks, and uh, this is what I did: is I put these. Uh, ISO walls, it's a metal sheet um, about three, four inches thick with polystyrene and another metal sheet at the bottom. These are all off cuts from a construction from some other pack house. And uh, yeah, I just have to move it every time I move the coop. I moved these coops already into the new positions for the day earlier. I'm just coming around to have a little bit more activity around the coops that will hopefully uh, make it less attractive for the meerkat to come and uh, get himself an easy target. And then also I'm coming to check on their water. Tuesday is coming to a close. This is the chicken, other chicken tractor that got smacked by the uh, mongoose as well. And uh, so just two of the four have been attacked by the mongoose. 
This one only had one incident where one bird got injured and he never got into the tractor. He was just biting through the shade cloth. And then after the sh that incident, I put the, the uh, chicken mesh on and uh, haven't had any issues further on, on this uh, particular tractor. So tomorrow morning, we'll see how uh, successful it was. I haven't seen any traces of the, the um, mongoose as such for today. Um, but I haven't done my last checks, so let me go around and go take a look at the other two tractors and see if they're still okay and just do the final checks before I turn in myself. Bright and early on a Wednesday morning. Come discover with me, let's see what happened overnight. Second coop for the day. Just inspecting the outside. See if there's any digging taking place. Because this coop has never been, this position of this coop has never been uh, uh, compromised, if that is the word, right word. I don't have panels right around it. Just, just. Uh, just where it is uh, easy to get in because the surface of the f of the ground is obviously not level. So some spots, the coop like over this corner is higher off the ground and other places it's level to the ground. So I put these panels in just so that a predator won't be able to get in. Obviously this move will be much easier. Thursday morning in 17 days time it's graduation day for these guys they're getting nice and big now I find it really hard and uh, it probably will get easier as this business progresses but uh, I think the humane side to this will remain. 